So good day to all of you. I am Dr. Priya Nair, Assistant Professor of Gastroenterology in Amrita Hospital, Kochi. Today I'll be discussing with you a disease entity called inflammatory bowel disease. As the name suggests, this is basically inflammation or swelling of our digestive tract, mainly our intestines. Why does this particular disease happen? We are all generally worried about our immunity becoming too low. Especially amidst this COVID-19 pandemic, we are all wanting to boost our immunity. But unlike many other diseases which are caused by a low immune system, inflammatory bowel disease occurs when our immune system is hyperreactive or overreactive. It's not overreactive in a good way. Essentially, it's dysregulated. So what happens? Our intestinal tract becomes swollen or, or inflamed as a result of our hyperactive immune system. And as a result, these patients develop symptoms of abdominal pain, diarrhea, blood in their stools, weight loss, loss of appetite, and a general feeling of poor health. There are essentially two forms of inflammatory bowel disease or IBD. One is called Crohn's disease, which is essentially a disease that affects our entire digestive tract all the way from our mouth till our rectum. The other form of the disease is called ulcerative colitis, which is essentially a disease of the large intestine. So as we mentioned before, inflammatory bowel disease is a result of a hyperactive or an overreactive immune system. We have to take medications that will reduce or suppress our immunity. These are many, there are many different kinds of medicines. There are steroids, there are immunomodulators or medications such as azathioprine. And there are also much stronger medications that are injections which we call biologicals. Just as important as it is to take these medications, it is vital that you make sure that you see a gastroenterologist at regular intervals so that they can do your blood tests, they can monitor your clinical symptoms and adjust your medications as is needed. Amidst this COVID-19 pandemic, many people with inflammatory bowel disease have reached out to gastroenterologists with many important questions. I'd like to discuss a few of these questions. The answer is no. Just because you are taking these medications, you do not have a higher risk of developing COVID-19 infection. However, one thing to note is, if you do develop the infection, make sure you reach out to your doctor, whether it's a primary healthcare physician or a gastroenterologist. They may require to adjust your medications. I would say that it's better not to miss any of your follow-up uh, appointments. That being said, there is a higher risk of developing COVID-19 infection if you travel. But there's a simple solution. Teleconsultation has proven to be a very effective way of keeping in contact with your physician. You can even do your blood tests at a local lab, send your reports to your uh, physician or gastroenterologist, and discuss your clinical symptoms and they can adjust your medications online. So please do make sure that you keep in touch with your primary healthcare doctor or gastroenterologist at the predetermined intervals. We all know by this point what the COVID-19 symptoms are, fever, cough, breathlessness, body ache, and all other symptoms of a flu. That being said, patients with IBD should keep one concept in mind. 
IBD patients who had otherwise been under very good control with their medications may present with COVID-19 inf uh, infection as abdominal pain, altered bowel habits, they may suddenly have diarrhea with blood in their stool without stopping or discontinuing their medication at all. So remember, COVID-19 can present as gastrointestinal symptoms as well and keep that in mind. Make sure that all patients with IBD do not stop their medicines. By stopping their medications, they could have temporary worsening in their clinical symptoms and this could even necessitate hospital admission. And a hospital admission in the midst of this pandemic is definitely not something that anyone wants. The answer is yes, you should get vaccinated as soon as possible. There is no contraindication for the COVID vaccine just because you have inflammatory bowel disease. That being said, there are no studies showing that any one vaccine is superior to another. So whichever vaccine is available at your local health center, please go ahead and take that vaccine. So this is our discussion on inflammatory bowel disease in the context of the COVID-19 pandemic. Please do contact us if you have any further issues you would like to discuss or queries. Keep safe, keep healthy. Good day to you all.